Hi, this is Marquis Crew, and I'd like to help a community member with keeping order. KM007 has asked for a little bit of assistance. They wanted to be able to keep two files in the uh, order shown where file one has a set of fruit and quantity, file two has a subset of fruit and a quantity, and they wanted to keep the data in order, not alphabetically, but in the order of preference from the first file. Originally, I had taken a look at the title and gave a suggestion as to how to do that. And uh, questions came back to me from KM007 as to how that would help them. And in this case, it wouldn't have helped them at all. But if you're doing a cross tab and you wanted to be able to get data to maintain in order, I do have a YouTube video out there about Altrix macro field order that may be of interest to you. So back to KM007, how would we solve this? Well, here is data from file one and file two, just as you've uh, indicated. I'm gonna hit play on this workflow. And what we're gonna do is go into a union and a cross tab, just like you requested. And when we come out of that cross tab, we'll see that our data is now in apple banana orange order as opposed to apple orange banana order. Even if I go and do a little bit of cleanup on the data and turn the null into a zero, my answer is still not the way you wanted it. So what I've done is I've demonstrated how you can use the select to maintain the fruit from this original file and place a record ID on it. So now we know which fruit order it should be in. And what we're going to do next is we're going to connect this data stream coming out, which was in the wrong order, into a find and replace. And what we're going to do is look up the fruit from this original set of data. And what we're going to do is append the record ID to that fruit. So on output, we're going to see apple, orange, banana for the record ID order. I'm also going to put in this formula, which will be explained uh, you'll see the reason why we're going to have it later, that if we didn't get a fruit match here, if we were to look up, say, guavas, that guavas would get a very large number. We're going to sort the data in uh, record ID order, and we'll see that we're coming into apples, orange, banana order, and remove that record ID, and we've got data flowing nicely. The reason why um, I called this a nominal use case, there may be more files that you bring in to the process. So here I've got file N, and file N does have guavas in it. And it's got guavas, bananas, apples. I just uh, put in different orders of the uh, fruit. And when I hit play, then coming out of this stream, I see that I've got apples, orange, bananas, guavas. And so what will happen here is that any fruit that exists in a file outside of file one will come in in alphabetical order after the original set of fruit. So if all fruit from all files are maintained in this one file, it'll come out in exactly the right order. Otherwise, if you get some new fruits in, then those end up at the bottom. I'll post this uh, back to your uh, post, and uh, hopefully this solves a problem for you and for others. Uh, if you enjoyed this video or didn't enjoy the video, but it did help you, please do subscribe. I do have more videos out there on YouTube. Thank you very much. Have a great day.